Welcome to A Word of Hope for Thursday of the 13th week in Ordinary Time. My name is Father Brian Walker. Yesterday we had a unique interaction with just Jesus and demons. We heard about how he gave them a choice. Today we have something totally different. There are no demons, but there are people, and some of the people our people of faith. Others, they had their differences of opinion. Jesus is moved by the fact that as he is talking, everybody wanted to hear him, but as he's talking, the roof starts to open and they let a man in, a paralytic. And Jesus recognizes his faith and the faith of those people who are opening up the roof. And he says to the man, your sins are forgiven. Why? Because of his great faith, it seemed. But you know, when people say things like that, it's like, oh God, yeah, here comes another preacher that's going to talk about that. And my sins are forgiven. My sins aren't, whatever. But then Jesus also understood that. And he said to the people, what's easier to say? your sins are forgiven, or get up and walk. See, they want something tangible that they could see, and Jesus gives it to them. He says to the man, your sins are forgiven. But he also says to him, stand up and go home. And the man is able to stand up. This man who had been a paralytic that everybody knew, and he was able to stand up and go home. Oftentimes, we hear a lot of things from different people. Some preachers can give us words of hope, and some preachers can lead us down a dark alley. But we have to make sure that we understand that the feelings that we feel are real, and we have to make sure that we impart the same feelings. We may have our doubts. We may have our misunderstandings. But we have to make sure that our hearts are open to understanding what Jesus is all about. That they're not just empty words, but they are words that can change our lives and change our lives for the better. May the Lord fill us this day that we may truly be a people of faith, a people of understanding, a people of hope. Amen.